Hello everybody, this is Rick MC5 and welcome to Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. That's right, we're starting Season 2 up right now. Now there's something I need to tell you. Not all five episodes are out yet by the time I'm recording this. By the time I record this, only the two, first two are out. We're going to do Episode 1 today. Episode 2 I'm probably going to do sometime in October. And as it goes on, I need to check some stuff first. I was right in the first episode that I said a season two might come out. Mm, I don't need to purchase season one because we've already done that. We don't need to do it again. Anyway, let's get on with it. Uh, I want this to be a continuation on. From the first season. Alright, let's import it. Appearance, I'm going to choose the same ones I chose in the first season with this Jesse. Episode 1, Hero in Residence. No, I don't want to join that. Also got Giant Consequences. Jailhouse Block. Below the Bedrock. And Above and Beyond. Let's just let's just go back and start the first episode up. Um, might adjust it so that it's bright enough so I can see it on YouTube. So I'm going to choose here. Yeah, we know about this, because I've already done the first season. I always like stories where the hero... Hang on a minute. Forgot to turn the subtitles on. ...has no go. idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. That was a great backstory. Oh, uh huh. But what part are we at? Why weren't Am I they being awesome? The we others thought it was great, armor. Lucas. Well. Although, not always technically accurate. Wait. Yeah. I mean, what happened to well, Olivia's voice? I, I definitely it exaggerated here and there, oh, but yeah, she's got a new voice. It actor. was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it cool, might Lucas. make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. Huh? You're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, Jesse. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but uh, next year. Okay. I can't believe it's Founding Day already. 
It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. Oh, thanks, but Lucas. But we all did, right? Yeah. We were all there. For yes. uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um... We did it together. Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, oh, who's this? Your intern. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, Radar. Gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir. You, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. Radar, don't be so formal. Right Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right oh, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So, what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, okay. nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for. Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. Oh, that's okay. That's I okay. get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> Ah, oh, so freaking cute! Oh yeah, it's my town. From episode 5, isn't that? So, the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Yeah, man. We honor Magnus every year with a freaking awesome memorial explosion rally. He would've loved it. Over in Redstonia, we're a little lighter on the explosions. I helped Eligard engineer an excellent new music machine for the evening ball. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Yeah, totally. Yeah, this has been great. See you again, I am going to see you all again. Same time next week. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell you, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the oh, Order, the and now. living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town. Hmm, Beacon Town. This is the start of the second season. adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. I really do this love place this place, so and cool. it just keeps getting cooler. Right? I love it too. It's exactly the kind of home I'd always dreamt of having. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. Sure. I'll keep that in mind. Let's go look around. I bet one of those would look awesome on the Order Hall's front lawn. Mm. Huh. Sure would. Oh, that Ivor's house. That 
poured lava out of it. That was no good. Well, Ivor and Harper are having fun out there in the portal network. Can't wait to hear about it when they get back. Seafood? Always. Hi. Hmm. Jesse, dude! Oh, Nell. Nell. I thought you were out Nell. seeing the world. Did From that. Episode eight. Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though. Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. Well, you picked a you great picked spot. A great town. Pretty proud of this town. Yeah, dude, it is awesome. Letting everybody be themselves. Super individualistic house over there that looks like a squid. Righteous. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't like fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make like a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Yeah, I'm not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, nope. hey, this is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! Okay. This can still break this fast now. What I was trying to say uh, was... A blank canvas. Um, if anyone hears this strange noise coming from my microphone, um, you see, someone's on the lawnmower just outside my house, and hopefully it doesn't pick it up, okay? Try and make a statue that says RG, which stands for Red Gamer. I'm not a really good builder. Oh, that's too low. Let's plant that. Try and make the R. Looks terrible. That looks really bad. Mm, so does that. That's terrible. Let's, let's completely knock this down. Let's make a seventy-five instead. Seven. Now let's make the five. Oh no, we're making it the wrong way. That's gonna make a two, not a five. There we go. Yo, there's the fun. 75 from Red Gamer. That is some sweet work. Nice. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It was my pleasure. Well, it is You're an welcome. honor, mi amigo. And don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the mineshaft. Mhm. Mm okay. Let's see who else is here. Creeper statue. That uh, building. Whoa! The Wink, get back here. Leave what? Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into oh, each wait. other. Oh wait, it's Stan. Thought we give this town of yours a try. <laughs> it's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. I have to. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. 
Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. I'm just well, letting the viewers know nah, in real life. Hang on to them. I, I actually got hate puns. dogs in real life. You never know when you're gonna need to tame well, a wolf. Well, dislike them, actually. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. Because, but really you should like come and see what we're working on because the noise they it's make pretty cool. Because you know, yeah, what's that really that affects me Anyway, a lot. our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. I meant what I was trying to say was, it's a noise I just can't tolerate in real life. Let's talk to the citizen. It is really you! My friend told me this was a recreation of your first big build. Way back before the wither storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. <laughs> Let <laughs> me right. tell you about I it. I love talking about the good old days. Yes! I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a hmm. deeper meaning? Oh, or like a critique um, of the world, maybe? It's a creeper. It's, uh, it's a creeper. Oh, I thought maybe there'd be more to it than that, but, um, guess not. The build I really wish I got to see was what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrifying. The world coming apart at the seams? Well, my, my friends, friends and I helped. give each other strength. That day was no different. I always knew the Order of the Stone were still best friends. I love it! Oh, you are just the best! Oh, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. Not a problem. I'll see you around, all right? Okay. Oh, Reuben. Wish you was Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. I think you. he would have liked you. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I bet you would have totally been friends. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh, yep, it's me. What are what are you doing here? Oh wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? Okay. I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? I can do I would that. love to. Seems like the least I can do. Oh, that's fantastic! Thank you so much. Alright, let's see him. Okay, piggies! Show Jesse your good side! What a nice. That's Esteban. Esteban? Smushy Q cheeks. Smushy Q cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Six. Lord Von Thunderpork <laughs> Six. Um, Trying my best to bring the pigs that. I kind of like them all the same, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So but I can't They you. all look exactly the same? What? No, they. I, I am offended. They are, I'm pretty sure, offended. Look at their <gasps> offended little faces. No! Sorry, I just can't pick one. Fine. Well, in that case, I guess there just won't be a Reuben in the festival this year. I didn't Come mean to on, pick boys. that. Oh, no. I made a wrong choice. Anyway, let's get the sugar cane. Okay? Sugar, nice. I didn't realize he was gonna be angry at me. I should have watched the videos on YouTube before picking that. All right, let's talk to another citizen. Jesse! Oh, hey, hey! Look who it is! Jesse! Hey! Hey guys, what are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Founding Day that I guarantee you is gonna be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Slime diving. Oh. Wanna give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob okay. designed the schematic, didn't you, Bob? Sounds that great. sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're going to be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? I'm going to go with... I'm just conflicted because I like uh, all the of them. Stone, cause that's... stone is safer. Why don't we run with that? Because it's the most blast resistant. Nice, that turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Okay. Just aim for the slime. It'll be great. Uh... Go, Jesse! <laughs> Woohoo! Ta-da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, that was incredible. 
Seriously, so amazing dive! Thank you for that, thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work. Hmm. Another citizen. What you looking at, citizen? Oh, <laughs> Jesse! Wow! Hi! <laughs> and just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? What are you talking about? It doesn't fit. Perfect. I think it's perfect. Oh, wow! <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking this. Yeah, I love it. This just gives me even more to think about. Uh, okay then. We'll just leave you to it. Is he okay? No, I don't think so. What's this? What is this for? <laughs> That's funny. Being smacked by the pressure plug. Hello, Jesse. I am telling you, Stampy, it needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. Is there some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not Why everyone likes both? cake, Stampy. Oh, Why don't we have both? Oh, well, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day, otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, yeah. I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. Already found the sugar cane. And there's egg up here. Let's take the egg. <laughs> Hey, an egg. Maybe that'll help me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. I have an egg, but I'm not trying to be held to basic, because that's not good. Pumpkin pie. Let's make the pie first. It's much easier to make than cake because you don't you don't need all that stuff. But let's make it. Okay, let's give him both. He said cake, she said pie, and I said, why don't we just have both? Oh <laughs> well, this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? I eh, found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Well, that's fantastic, Jesse. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. Here we go. I still feel sorry for that guy. I got one. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Made the wrong Bye. choice. Okay, let's keep exploring up here. Mm, there's a garden. Huh. What a lovely garden. Okay. 
Nade! You're my hero! Anyway, I'm ending this episode here. Red Gamers 75 sign off. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.